you need to be as prepared as you possibly can because the government doesn't care about you. That's why when they put out these emergency guides that you have to go online and actually look for, they only tell you to stockpile three days worth of food and water. That's why they aren't telling you to get ready for World War III like I've heard seven other countries do so far. That's why they don't have bunkers set up for us citizens in case of World War III. That's why they keep lying to us and telling us the economy is doing great and that we're not in a recession. When stuff really hits the fan, they're going to fly out all the politicians to a safe location, but they won't come and save you. Maybe they'll be nice enough to take you to some camp where you'll work like a prisoner for a soup and bread. But your best interests are not on their mind. You need to get all your preparedness supplies ready. Stockpile as much water and non-perishable food as you possibly can. You'll need weapons to defend yourself when rioting and home invasions become widespread. You need to make sure you have backup cooking methods. Learn about basic first aid and natural medicine. You also need the skills and gear to be able to live out of what's in your vehicle or a backpack in case you have to get out of Dodge. For that, you're going to need to put one week worth of food, water and survival gear inside a vehicle and an emergency backpack. You also need to take the time to learn basic wilderness survival skills. Make sure you have a large supply of first aid gear in your home and in your vehicle. If you think 2020 can't happen again, then you're wrong. Make sure you're prepared.